Hey fam, what's up? It's April. Today I am going to do an updated TBR shelf tour. Now, I first did this just over a year ago in early September of last year. And at that point I had over 230 unread books on my shelves. I could happily say that today, as of this day, as of, what date is it? The 25th of September, I have exactly 100 unread books. This year I've just really been focusing on only buying books that I know I'm for sure going to read and unhauling a bunch of books that I know I'm not interested in anymore and it has helped so much. I feel so much better about everything and yeah so I have exactly 100 books on my TBR and I'm aiming to get that down to 10 books by the end of 2017 and it is an exciting time to be alive. So this shelf behind me is my TBR shelf. Um, it's not full which is weird so my tbr shelf is organized by author surname and who knows i still might unhaul some more books <laughs> so i'll just give you a quick overview um up on the first shelf we have my tbr jar some black wooden letters that say tbr and a harry potter quote and then these are all my tbr books and excuse all the books on the floor. So here's a closer look at the top shelf. And now we'll move on to this one. To start off with, we have Little Women by Louisa May Alcott in the Puffin in Bloom edition. It is absolutely beautiful. And I am saving this to read at Christmas time. We have Losing Lila by Sarah Alderson, which is the sequel to Hunting Lila, which was one of my favorites of last year, I think it was. Don't Look Back by Jennifer L. Armentrout, which I'm planning on reading for the Spookathon in October. Sense and Sensibility, Orfanger Abbey, Mansfield Park, and Emma by Jane Austen. Then we have this massive, massive book. This is The Bronte's Wild Genius on the Moors, The Story of a Literary Family by Juliet Barker. I expect this will be one of the 10 books left over of my TBR at the end of next year. We have The Natural's Killer Instinct by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, which is a sequel to The Naturals, which was actually the first book I read this year. Then we have a book I'm currently reading, and that is What's a Girl Gotta Do by Holly Bourne. This is the third book in the Spinster Club series, and I'm obsessed. <laughs> then we have The Diviners, and the sequel Lair of Dreams by Libba Bray. Then we have my little Bronte collection that I haven't read yet. Um, the Professor by Charlotte Bronte, and Shirley by Charlotte Bronte in the Penguin English Library edition. Then we have The Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte. Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, and this gorgeous copy of Wuthering Heights that my best friend Brittany bought for me from London, including a London bookmark. A Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Burnett. I'm actually considering getting rid of this because apparently Frances was quite racist, and that is very apparent in her work. Uh, and I don't like that, so... I don't know if I'm going to get rid of that one. I have Evelina by Frances Burney. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. Worlds of Ink and Shadow by Lena Coakley. And lastly on this shelf, The Royal We by Heather Cox and Jessica Morgan. Alright, moving down to the next shelf. We have Nothing to Envy, Real Lives in North Korea by Barbara Demick. Dispatches from Syria, The Morning They Came for Us by Janine D. Giovanni. Then we have my little Charles Dickens collection, Dombey and Son, Little Dorrit, Great Expectations, and the Dickens that I'm currently reading, Our Mutual Friend, Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier, The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas, and Middlemarch by George Eliot, Ivory and Bone by Julie Eshbar, Jane Steele by Lindsay Fay. This bind-up of Everything is Illuminated and Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close by Jonathan Safran Foer. Outlander by Diana Gabaldon, which I'm obsessed with, hence the Jamie-themed clothing. I have The Cuckoo's Calling, Silkworm, and Career of Evil by Robert Galbraith. Then we have two books by Elizabeth Gaskell, North and South, and Wives and Daughters. This one's by Elizabeth Gaskell as well. This is um, The Life of Charlotte Bronte. Last on the shelf, we have Lord of the Flies by William Golding. Right, moving down, we have My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brodie Ashton, and Jodie Meadows. 
The Square Root of Summer by mm. Harriet Ruta Hapgood. Tess of the D'Urbervilles and Far From the Matting Crowd, both by Thomas Hardy. Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. The first four volumes of Attack on Titan. Stolen Songbird by Danielle L. Jensen. Burial Rites by Hannah Kent. Lying Out Loud, A Midsummer's Nightmare and Shut Out by Cody Keplinger. Furiously Happy by Jenny Lawson. The Mad Woman Upstairs by Catherine Lowell. Dreamer's Pool by Juliette Marillier. A hardcover and a paperback version of The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. An Arc of Heartless by Marissa Meyer. The Sea of Tranquility by Katia Millay. The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. My Gone with the Wind box set, which has Gone with the Wind and Scarlet. Um, Gone with the Wind is by Margaret Mitchell and Scarlet is by Alexandra Ripley. And The Blue Castle by L.M. Montgomery. The Emily of New Moon trilogy by L.M. Montgomery which consists of Emily of New Moon, Emily Climbs, and Emily's Quest. I have the last four books in the Anne of Green Gables series, Anne's House of Dreams, Anne of Ingleside, Rainbow Valley, and Rilla of Ingleside. Another book I'm currently reading, Speaking Out by Tara Moss, Sabriel by Garth Nix, Starglass by Phoebe North, Uprooted by Naomi Novik, Asking For It and Only Ever Yours by Louise O'Neill, Solitaire by Alice Oseman, Eldest by Christopher Paolini, Free Jane by Patricia Park, The Beauty of Darkness by Mary E. Pearson, Stronger Than You Know by Jolene Perry, Catch Up Clouds by Annabelle Pitcher, Bad Romeo by Lisa Raven, Temple by Matthew Riley, The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson, The Unbound by Victoria Schwab, and Disruption by Jessica Shervington. I didn't even show you this half of the shelf. There you go. All right, we're going to have to do this last shelf handheld because it's too low. So here it is. Winger by... what's your name? Andrew Smith. Heidi by Joanna Spiri. The Star Wars trilogy in this Barnes & Noble leather-bound edition. Theft of Swords and Heir of Novron, books 1 and 3 in the Rhaeria Revelation series. We have volumes 2 and 3 of Monster. It's kind of a funny story by Ned Vizzini. Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day by Winifred Watson. Yes, I Like You by Casey West. Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. The Four Green Gables by Budge Wilson. A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. Lastly, One Would Think the Deep by Claire Zorn. And then I have two library books that I have out. Um, the Interrogation of a Shallow Wolf by Anne Boleyn Quimelina, and Corruption by Jessica Shervington. But obviously they are not part of my TBR. So that's it. That's my TBR shelf. It's exciting. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on any of these books down below, especially if you really really hated any of these books because I'm always keen to unhaul more. <laughs> Thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Goodbye!